Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Oxenfree. Um, it skipped, I skipped forward a little bit by accident. And I don't really want to go back and do it all over again. <laughs> uh, but all that was missed is, uh, they were doing these, uh, they were testing out this radio on the three stones that were in the last episode. And the last, uh, the last minute or so of the episode. And they saw some straying, strange light coming from this cave, so they decided to go in. So let's go explore. I'm trying to find one of the guys. They went in without, without me, and I kind of chased after him, and he's lost. So let's see if we can find him. Climb so slow, hurry up! Okay, so... Oh, there we go, we gotta jump up there. So this game's really cool so far, it's, it's very interesting, and the storyline is starting to get... get interesting as well. So. Let's see where this takes us. Uh, are you Jonas, okay? are you alright? Shout if you're like bleeding or something. <laughs> yes, it's Jonas that went in the cave. We're trying to find him right now. Looks like some sort of puddle down there, pond. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Oh, there's ashtray a pen. and a pen right there. Hmm, interesting. That means there's someone who was down here. See a man about a dog. See a man about a dog. Sure, oh, we'll do. There's Jonas. Are you okay? <sighs> Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's crazy. It's honestly it's creeping creepy. me out. Yeah. I feel like we're in Satan's underground lair. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but I mean, it's all just a cave. Just a natural cave. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? That's kind of creepy. I don't know where it's coming from. What could it be? What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? Beats me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Sure, let's go. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Fine. I think if I heard some uh, voices in a cave, I don't think I would go in there. Unless there was like people screaming for help or something, but just, I don't know. I would be kind of too scared. I would call for help. I wouldn't go in alone, that's for sure. <laughs> like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating um, triangle light thing? A floating triangle up here. What the hell? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, sure. triangle rainbows? <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go with that, for the time being. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think Both it's all them. the same thing. Could be. Well, if I did... Neat! I finally know saw the man, not the dog. Not the man, what the not crap the dog. does that mean? That's a little weird. A guy who can't see dogs? 
Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll yeah. dance or Let's try twitch that radio. or something. Why is there an arm Apart wire down the, here? Um, triangle? This is honestly the craziest thing I didn't even thing get down here. here. That's weird. Like, how did it even get in? Oh, there we go. And I mean, aside it's from some like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. That's weird. Oh, you can open it. Let's try it out. Nope, locked. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Interesting. How'd you already try it? You Let's just do it. Got Come down on. Here. Radio time. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's try this radio. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. I'm doing it. Fucking hold on. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Well, that's a little weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I gotta dial the frequencies to make it do stuff. I oh. can't even, like, what is, what? Another triangle. Shut, Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> wow, this is uh, a little strange. Oh. What the hell? Illuminati confirmed. Oh my god, what is this thing? What the... Hello? Dear Ditto, everyone is. I can't make out what he's saying. Oh, I missed. Sleepy. Time. Count. Everything. Fine. Loading. There. Same. Don't know. If. Leave. Is possible. This is insane. Yes. What? Um... What are I don't you? Get what's going on? Listen, Bob Tail. Shape Tail. Sleeping time. Time now. Is leave possible? Oh, uh, sure. Um, yeah. I still don't. Sure. I can't really make out leave what possible. they're saying. Bob Tail. Leave children. Bye. See you soon. Alex. What the hell? What? <laughs> Oh, that's a little weird. Whatever, like underwater or something? This game is creeping me out. <laughs> what is happening? This is so weird. Alex! Alex! Where am I now? 11 p.m. Alex? It doesn't look very dark. <sighs> Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were dead for a minute. Does it a.m. or p.m.? I can't remember. <sighs> what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Chlor... Harden Tower. Oh, oh it's called that, I think, space. <laughs> because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that is so dumb. That's funny. That's kind of funny. Yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it. Immature, but it? funny. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. So, are you really friends with Clarissa? Uh, I don't know. We probably shouldn't leave at anybody. We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This That'd is not be a shitty move. This is not a thing. Okay, okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. 
So, if it is- Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Gross. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Oh, uh, where is everyone? Where's everyone else? Ren, uh, Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't what know if they happened? even know that anything happened. Yeah, what the fuck happened? In anyways. <laughs> you. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Uh, I don't know. Probably they heard all scared. the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. Door's locked. <sighs> Locked. Gotta go Let through me this try. window over here, probably. Uh, be my oh, guest. After you. Oh, why? Thank you. Is he pick locking it. A uh, little help. Just have a little faith. Let's see if I can go through this window over here. <clears throat> well, if you want to do, <laughs> see. Oh, there you got the door open. Good job. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Did the door just open twice. <laughs> what the fuck? That's pretty cool. Uh, Mayday. Uh, SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick. Danger. It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? No. I don't think so. Okay, let's go over here, try machinery. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Yeah, I think Yeah, well, I'm glad you find this sort of thing interesting, because I find it interminable. You find it terminal? Forget, Forget it. Forget it. I find it boring, <laughs> that's all. Oh, well, there's a phone. Let's, let's try the phone out. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Nope. Bunch of no's. <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh. Jesus. Okay, we're getting a phone call. Let's go answer it. Hello? Who is it? Uh, help. Oh, man. Whoever you are, we really need your help over here. Alex? Alex, is that you? What the hell? Ren? Is it Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> oh my God! It's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have like passed out or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something or they do like check-ins maybe. What's that sound? Is there a cat crying in there? Ren, Wait, Ren, yeah, someone's calling on the over. other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm calling. gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Could be help. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? What? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm 
trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to get out of here. Fuck, I don't Nobody know what to wants say. to stay, Clarissa, but you know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's like a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And oh. it dies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the world. Ren, are you Let's still try there? Ren again. Nope. Last connection with both of them. That's not good. So now yeah, we have to go find I them. I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweets. Let's get Ren first. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. I say go Ren, Ren needs in us the more. woods. He, he's and in he'd the woods, kill so. me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Okay, so I gotta save Ren over here in the woods. Where's Fort Milner? That's over there. Okay, they both seem kind of far. So let's go get Ren first, I guess. How do I get out of here? There we go. All right, let's figure out how to turn off this electrified fence, kickstart this rescue mission like the uh, total badasses we are. Or electrified fence. Oh, maybe there's something in here. Yeah, righteous. We are badasses. Maybe this is generator. Should oh, be there off we go. Now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. <laughs> Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. Okay, so it's getting kind of interesting now. We all got separated and don't remember the past hour. So it was 10 p.m. when all this happened. Now it's 11 p.m. and no one knows what's happening. So it's kind of really cool. I'm really liking this game so far. We gotta go save Ren first, and then go save Clarissa. But what happened to the other girl? I forgot her name already. <laughs> yeah, we have to go save her as well. She'll probably come up later on. Nope, that's the radio. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I have to go... Epiphany Field is down here. What did I call it? I called it something else, didn't I? <laughs> uh, Harden Tower is there. Pretty sure I have to go down here first, the field. And then go left to the woods, and then all, all the way up there somehow. So I guess let's go. Uh, what do you think So, about? just curious, but, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. All right. Yep. That. Those were the events. Good talk. <laughs> well. Okay, let's go to the woods now. Let's go find Ren. Find out what the hell happened I, to um, us. I didn't realize just well, how much already? woods there were. This is like a like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type. 
Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy in that I'm outdoors. But I just <laughs> want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We um, no. Vaguely. I have no idea where I'm going. You know, but this whole place is, uh... really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Well, I'm not really surprised. Parks are parks. I didn't want to say unless that. Unless you're in, like, Utah or something. Yeah, no, I know, but it just had this layout, you know? I don't know. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifing. per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been <laughs> so the... far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. That is pretty scary. Not gonna lie. Santa kidnapping kids, that's creepy. So what is this? This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's wow. a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, <laughs> I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. <laughs> I'm still going towards bridge stand. Oh, okay, no, that's a little campgrounds, and then the relay point. So let's do it. I guess I have to go up this way, or to the left. I have no idea where I'm going right now. Uh, I'm guessing it. Yeah, I'm guessing it's up there. I'm just gonna go up here. Over this bridge. Let's see what's over this bridge. There's a door over there. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like, just like a normal bridge with wood and slats? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. I don't know if I'd say it's neat. So it check looks out what this is less over here. than welcoming, or at least it doesn't look very inviting, or even on. Maybe there's another way. There has to be. I mean, it's the woods. There's no way to begin with. We make our own. The light's on over here. Power transfer station 167. It open? Oh, it's open. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it. Monsters. I don't know. Monsters? <laughs> Just monsters? That's your answer? For now. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. Power should be working. I found the circuit breaker. <laughs> Wait, like the first thing it the says is beware on. of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Jonas, the bridge ferry looks pretty well and dead, so I don't know how we do this without power. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... Uh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. It's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. You know Ren. If someone were to get electrocuted, it should be me, right? It makes some kind of circus sense. All right? Thanks um, for taking one for the team, Jonas. I'm going to let you go. Uh, oh, what's happening? Why'd the lights what go out? What the fuck just happened? Which flip did you hit? The only one. There's only one switch, and it's the one that says power, or whatever. I don't know why it didn't do what it should have. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Yeah, it that sounds, sounds weird. like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin Maybe crawl. Maybe it's something to do with the radio again. Perhaps from the 
Alright, that was kind of weird. Okay. Oh. What was that? That was creepy. That's... What the That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? I am so tired that of this funhouse bullcrap. Okay. Is the power back on? Looks like it. Probably go across now. That was a little, little scary. Not gonna lie. Let's try that. <laughs> Let's try this again. There's a uh, chair over there. Was that there before? Definitely was not. I don't think so. <laughs> Alex, are you all right? Yeah. Alex. <laughs> not funny. funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look. It was worth it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. What a night. Huh? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Tonight's not exactly what I expected. Campground. Uh, yeah, that's where I need um, to go. What does that mean? You said, what a night. I was just humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Says you, man. What's that noise coming from? That's weird. Okay. Control. Praise the Lord. Go. And we're off to the campgrounds. This is getting really interesting now. Kind of scary. Not gonna lie, everything is so like weird and mysterious, and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I can't wait to see what's what's actually happening when they find out what's happening in this in this town. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Yep. Yay. Yay. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island, I mean. Hey guys, I am going to end the episode off right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Uh...